like just yesterday, we were admiring the boats, docked yeah. at Moosehead Lake, all gone now. The one with the purple cover especially. That was mine, right? Yeah, that was your Out of the water. <laughs> Pull them out in time, and it is looking a little rough yeah, out windy. there right now. Northwest wind, that's probably why right, Trouble out right up in that cove area there. Gusting, 40 in Greenville, 37 in Bangor, 26 miles an hour in Portland. I think it's the first time this season I've shown this map. Wind chills currently, 30 in Wiscasset, 30 in Rockland. Feels like 27 in Lewiston, 14. So it feels like middle of the day here in Rangeley. So chilly air temperature, yeah, but also those wind gusts having a significant factor there. We do have some sun, especially over the uh, western half or so of the state. More clouds into down east Maine and northern Maine, but generally we're going to stay sunny over western Maine through the afternoon, and then we'll cloud up later on this evening. Tonight's chilly, but it could have been colder if the winds would have settled faster and uh, the clouds didn't come in. So we're going to drop down in a lot of spots to well below freezing, but I don't think it'll be frigid just because these clouds start moving in. And we've discussed this next storm system, which is by no means a blockbuster. It doesn't have a ton of moisture, but what it does have is good timing and an interesting temperature profile. And what I mean by that is this snow comes in to our southern zones kind of in the late evening, early morning hours. So our best chance to be cold. So I think because of that, we'll start off as some snow even to the coastline tomorrow morning. You might wake up in uh, York and Cumberland County and look out and see snow flying. I don't think we'll see it accumulating on the roads in this zone. Head farther back though towards Freiburg uh, in through parts of Oxford County. And I think it will be accumulating through the morning. Change over to sleet pellets probably here along the coast through the mid morning in the middle of the day and eventually over to cold rain over southern Maine. You can see the precip shield here tearing apart during the afternoon. Again, not a ton of moisture here, but we may go through a lot of varieties of precipitation in a short period of time from snow to sleet, maybe a little freezing drizzle too, and then rain. And then all this moves out tomorrow uh, afternoon, tomorrow night, and we're in good shape on Friday. So what does this look like? Coatings. Uh, for a lot of us along the coast and I'm, I'm thinking mostly not the road here in this this area this shade as you get into the lighter blue few spots could stick to the road it's going to be tight the surface temperatures are not super convincing to me but around an inch and then one to three inches back towards Freiburg Berlin and into the mountains of New Hampshire where it will likely stick on the road it mostly would be an issue for the morning commute less of an issue for the evening and I'd say it shouldn't be an issue at all but the first time it snows sometimes we kind of forget what we're doing, so we'll keep an eye on that. High pressure builds in over the weekend. It is chilly, but bright enough straight through. Temperature trend, our average high is 51. Not really getting near that too much. Friday's okay, but the weekend is flat 40s here. Um, but it is dry, so that's there's something to that. Right through Tuesday of next week, we actually rip off kind of four days. I'd be more excited about them if they said 50, but yeah, it is what it is. 40 to 45 four days of dry weather. And again, Brian, it might be the first time of the season where some of us over Southern Maine will see snow. Mm. Um, I don't think it'll be hugely impactful, but just one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, here we are. Right, let's you know, program our mind again of how we handle this. Yeah, yes, totally. just can't hop in the car. All right, Keith, thanks so much.